My name is Eileen English, and I'm a student at Sheboygan North High School and founder of Project Beat. Um, Project Beat is the initiative to encourage youth, kids, um, children, really people of all ages to become involved in youth music opportunities in our local community. And so I founded Project Beat through the Innovator Fellowship Program at Sheboygan North High School to kind of encourage that. I love playing music. I'm in the Sheboygan Youth Symphony. Um, I partnered with them to kind of work through fundraising. I play piano. I've played piano for a very long time. And I've also just enjoyed music around my community since I was a little kid. At Falrath Park in Boygan, Wisconsin, there is an installation just north of the playground there. And it follows um, an arc, a concrete sidewalk that goes along to make music accessible to sort of resemble a symphony or an orchestra. And each of the installations also partner with a storybook, a children's book that I wrote. And the pages sort of teach about education. Um, each station matches with an element of music and it kind of helps the kids become engaged. So the book is about a young monkey named Coda and all of his animal friends are getting ready for the big jungle dance. And so Coda wakes up one morning and he's kind of searching for what he should do um, at this jungle dance. And so each station, each um, station incorporates both a page of the storybook and an instrument from percussion play that's been installed at the park. And the station has Coda meeting with one of his animal friends, his animal friends teaching him about the instrument and about an element of music that correlates with the instrument. And then he kind of continues his journey all throughout until at the end he becomes their conductor and they all perform together um, at the conductor stand in the center of the symphony. I really just found percussion play through a lot of Google searches. Um, I worked a lot with Daniel, um, a lot of lot of emails back and forth because, um, you know, it's across the sea. Um, I was a little nervous, but it was super fun. Like it was obviously it's a little tricky when I'm a high school student trying to work on a project on this scale, but it was so helpful to work with them. And I just kind of picked the instruments based off of what I thought the kids would like. Um, I also, I went into all of my local elementary and middle schools and I worked with their music classes to kind of figure out what they love about music, what they don't like about music, what can be barriers to music. And that way I was able to focus on elements of music that would help students express themselves um, and in a way that would be fun. And so I picked a lot of the colorful instruments. Um, and then I, of course, made the animal friends and the storybook super friendly, super accessible. So it's not like the scary thing that they can't achieve. I worked with the, the Rainbow Sambas, are the first station. The second station are the Harmony Flowers, there's three of them. The third station is actually a timbre wall I created myself. It's got like pots and pans and all sorts of things like that. And it teaches the kids that you don't need expensive instruments or an expensive education to sort of you know, create your own music. You can do whatever feels right to you. Um, the fourth station are the Calypso Chimes. They got the full eight set because they're so pretty. Um, and then the final one is the Cavatina with the music book because that way they can sort of create a familiar tune. That station focuses on melody um, that they know and just based on like the colors. Probably one of the most special parts of the installation is how accessible it is. It's in the center of our community, it's in a park. Um, People of all ages have played on it. We had a grand opening ceremony in which we had people in wheelchairs playing on them. We had grandparents playing on them. We had young kids playing on them. We even had a baby in someone's arms hitting on some chimes. So it's really just a unique experience to see how intergenerational music is and how accessible it can become and how fun it is when people don't have the pressure of hitting the right notes or making the right sound um, and really just being able to have a good time and you know create music with their community.